Hello children, this is teacher Janie and welcome back to another video. Come and let's learn together. If you're new to this channel, hi, we're teacher Jamie and teacher Fred, your online teachers. We discuss modular lessons in this channel. Join our class and have fun. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share children. Also, you may hit the notification bell to keep you updated with our latest videos. Plants are around us. They help us in many ways. In this video, we will help you know more about the functions and the parts of the plant. This is an example of a plant. Plants are living organisms that are very important to life on Earth. They provide food for humans and other animals and allow us to breathe by converting the carbon dioxide. How many plants do you eat as food? You might be surprised, but the Earth has more than 80,000 species of edible plants. Plants are made of many different parts, and each part has an important role or job that it plays for the plant. Now, we will talk about the parts of the plant. The flower Fruit Roots Leaves And stem These five Parts of a plant are just the basic parts that plays a very important role in the plant. Now, we will talk about the roots. It holds the plants on the soil. It absorbs water and minerals from the soil that it needs to grow and stay healthy. There are two kinds of roots. Taproot, the main root that absorbs the water and nutrients. Lateral root, which anchor the plant in the ground. Roots even store food for the plant to use in the future. Did you know that some foods we eat are actually roots? These are the edible crops that grows in the roots. Ginger, carrots, onion, sweet potato, beetroot, cassava. Now we will talk about the second part of the plant, stem. It is the main part of the plant. It supports the weight of the leaves as well as the flowers or fruits if the plant has them. The stem carries water and nutrients from the roots up to the rest of the plant. Stems can either be bendable, like a flower stem, or woody, like a tree stem. Woody stems are known as trunks. The main stem of a plant may have smaller stems or branches that it grow off it. There are plant stems that are edible like celery, bok choy or pet chai, asparagus. Now we will talk about the leaves. It makes food for the plants in a process called photosynthesis. In order to perform it, leaves need sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water. Then, they make a sugar that the plant uses for energy to live. 
During this process, plants give off oxygen, which humans and animals need to breathe. Leaves don't give us oxygen. They can also give us food. These are some of the leaves that are safe to eat. Lettuce, spring onions, spinach, bok choy or pet choy, parsley, malungay or moringa. Now we will talk about the flower. Flowers help produce new plants. Not all produce flowers, but many do. They grow on the end of the stems. It attracts insects or animals with their beauty and smell. The flower may provide the insect or animal with sweet nectar to eat. And they help the plant by pollinating it so it can make seeds. These are some of the flowers that are safe to eat. Cauliflower, artichoke, squash blossom, marigold, chamomile, and other varieties of flower that is in the flower salad. Now we will talk about the fruit. The fruit contains the seed of the plant. They help in the germination of the new plant. Seeds from the fruit keep a species in existence. Fruits provide us with healthy food to eat because these are important sources of dietary fiber, vitamins like vitamin C, and antioxidants. They also have phytochemicals that help fight to protect your health. These are some of the fruits and vegetables which came from the flower then turned into an edible food. Fruits Vegetables You already know the parts of a plant, children. So, Look for a plant outside of your house, then find out if those plant parts are in this video. Do you have questions? Feel free to comment below. Have you learned something today? Mm-hmm. I hope. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, children. Also, you may hit the notification bell to keep you updated with our latest videos. This ends our class, children. See you tomorrow. Goodbye and stay safe.